champion campione, tired of life and tired of depression, tired of anxiety, tired of worry, tired of stress. If so, go ahead and smash this like button. We're about to get into something very, very awesome today. Nam Slanje. So here we go. Now, I want to just quickly share something with all of you. All right. In front of me over here, I've got the word of the living God. All right. It's the Bible, the Bible over here. Now, I don't know what you believe about the Bible, but fam, listen, this book has served me incredibly well because there's absolute truth inside here, truth from our heavenly loving Father. Now, I know maybe you might think that that new song that got released is the truth or that new movie is the truth or that thing that they're busy stipulating in the media is the truth. But fam, listen, this is the truth. All right, this is the truth. And I want to share a quick verse with you. It's found in 1 John chapter 4. And it says this, that as he is, who is Christ, as he is, so are you and I in this world. Not as he was, all right? No, as he is. And how is Jesus today? He is seated at the right hand side of the Father. That means, fam, the grave is empty. And because the grave is empty, both you and I can experience exceptional victory. And both you and I can reign in life through the Lord Jesus Christ, not through our own strength, not through our own intellect, not through our own power, not through our own might, but through the Lord Jesus Christ, both you and I can reign in this life. So again, if you're tired, all right, of life, why not just receive a new one? All right, if you're tired of depression, why not receive the joy that Jesus Christ has ultimately paid the price for? All right, if you're tired of worry, why not receive the peace that the Lord Jesus Christ has ultimately paid for. And fam, listen, I've discovered in my short little lifespan on this earth, all right, by the grace of God, it's simply about learning to let things go. All right, learning to let go of the worry, to let go of the stress, to let go of the anxiety. anxiety. So, so it's essentially for us to stop holding on to it and to let it go. It's like, for example, if I had to have a hose pipe here with me right now and I plug it into a tap here behind me and I open up the tap, if I want to stop the water from being supplied through the hose pipe, all I got to do is choke the hose pipe. Okay, obviously I, can, I understand I can also close the tap, but that's a side note. But I can just simply choke the hose pipe and because I've choked the hose pipe what happens the water's not flowing through but as soon as I let go all right of that what happens the supply begins to flow again and that is our relationship with God God is continually supplying grace supplying favor supplying his mercy supplying his goodness but then what do we essentially do we come and we choke everything up because of our worry because of our anxiety and so forth so I want to encourage you today if you're tired of your life Accept the new one. Receive the life that the Lord Jesus Christ has for you by calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus and receive that life today. Because at the cross thousands of years ago, there was a divine exchange that took place. The punishment that both myself and you deserved, he took upon himself so that we could walk away with his unmerited, undeserved, unearned favor. He took your sin and my sin, the whole thing of us missing the mark. He took it upon himself so that we could receive his righteousness which again gives us access to every single promise that our Father has made, fam. Like the good news is actually good news. So accept what He has done, fam. Accept what He has done. It's, you're not going to grow. You're not going to transform through your own striving. You're going to be transformed through ultimately beholding the greatness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And again, if He can change anyone's life, listen, He changed mine. He transformed my life. Listen, worst of the worst of the worst. And He transformed my life and gave me new life. And that doesn't mean that things have been easy ever since. But no, fam, I know I can cast my burdens unto him. I can cast my cares and my anxiety unto him because he cares for me. I know that I'm not journeying this life through by myself. I know he's with me. And if God be for me, who can be against me? That means success is inevitable because the Lord is with me. Us. So I hope that this has encouraged you in some way, shape or form. If it has, remember to share this with your friends far and wide. Also consider subscribing today. May you be blessed and just know, your voice matters.